Um, but yeah, it should be a good one. The other one I'm looking at with another world champion from Doha coming back, men's eight with Donovan Brazier going up against a pretty stout field. And the men's eight, a lot of parity. There's no one guy if Brazier's not on top of his game. It's a wide open race. I think if Brazier's on top of his game, there's nobody who can beat him. But Bryce Hopple's in here, Wyclef Kinyamal, Michael, Marco Arop, Peter Bull, like some solid Diamond League competition for Brazier's first 800 of the year. What do you expect to see from him? Well, first of all, I only plan on watching him in this race. I don't care what any of these other runners do. I don't care what any of the Kenyans do. I don't care what Sawinski does. He's probably pacing. I don't care what uh, A-Rop does, out. Bala, Bull, nothing. Hopple's All I care about, there's no, there's, no, there's no Hopple. All I care about is what Donovan Brazier does. I'm not even going to be watching the other athletes. Because I want to know, that might be tough. are we getting the, the dude back? Are we getting the, the, the guy who ran 140 freaking two? Like, are we getting that? Obviously, we're not going to get a 142 this weekend, but he did the indoor season. He wasn't running the 800. He was kind of doing the 400s, then the 4x4 four yeah. four thing, and ran a 600, but now I'm starting to, to believe all 600 times are sh- bullshit and just not real. So I'm not going to put any weight on a 600 time anymore. Um, Gordon so turned on the 600. Man. I did. 600. Falling was, out. Yeah. No, come on. I Guys, yeah. I can run a 115 600. That's not true. I cannot run a 115 nope, 600. Nope. I can not run true. a 115 200. That's for sure. Um, but all eyes are on Donovan, and I just want to see what he does. And I want to see, I'm hoping for greatness. I'm hoping to see something positive. I'm hoping to see like a win or a fast time, either or. And so then I could be like, all right, 800 is back for Donovan. He's the guy. He's the one everyone's chasing. We're going to get excited again for a Brazier versus Hopple rematch. Get excited for Murphy versus Brazier. Get excited for whoever the young guy is coming out of college, like a Brandon Miller versus Brazier. But right now, the Brazier, we just don't have the, the versus Brazier. We just have all these other guys just running 145s and yeah. flopping all over the place. I need I need the main man to be... Back to 2019 self. And so we'll see. He's been rested, I guess. And I'm just hoping we see something good. And we'll get a lot of data from it. We'll know. Because if he goes out there and runs like a 147 and finishes like fourth, mm-hmm. uh, then it's then Brazier just becomes another dude. I'm, it's going to be hard for me to, to put stock into him as the 2019 champ. This event's been hibernating for a while. Would you agree? Yeah. Because of Brazier. Brazier's been out. So it's been hibernating. Maybe they awake from their slumber in Doha. Again, it's tough. Debut, big flight, time zone change. I won't bury him after this one race, but I think he's good enough to where he has the ability to put something out there. You're right. That reminds us why he was the world champion. And his indoor season, in totally inconclusive. <laughs> Because he doesn't, he didn't run the eight hundred, but the six was good. And then you're like, all right, maybe he'll just put down such a sick four hundred that we'll have to take stock in his eight. But that never came. We saw some sixes, but that was, or we saw some fours, but none of them were like they didn't wow us compared to what we thought. He-